Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss on introduction to medical statistics. I am Dr. Sandeep Sukadhan. I am senior lecturer in Unical RCMP. Statistics. What do you understand by statistics? It is a science that deals with collection, compilation, analysis, interpretation and presentation of numerical and uh, categorical information. Collection, compilation, analysis, interpretation and presentation of numerical and categorical information. The application of the principles of statistics in medical research is known as biostatistics or medical statistics. There are so many uses of biostatistics. Students may think why we study biostatistics. Okay. One important use is to compare the occurrence of a health problem in different population. We can calculate mortality and morbidity rates and various rates, ratios and proportions and compare between different populations. Now I will tell you what is rate. Rate is a measurement of occurrence of some particular event in a population during a given time period. Okay, if you go through these two uh, some numbers Number of deaths in city A in 2012 is 5,000. Number of deaths in city B in the same year is 2,000. What we understand by that? First, we think city A number of deaths is higher. Okay. And we think that city B number of deaths is less. So it is better to live in city B. But when we go through the mid-year population of city A in 2012 and the mid-year population of city B in 2012, okay, mid-year population in city A is 200,000 and the mid-year population of city B is only 50,000. Then there the use of crude death rate. We can calculate crude death rate, that is the total number of deaths in one year in a definitive population divided by mid-year population of the same area, same geographic area in the same, same year multiplied by 1000. When we calculate crude death rate in city A will be Number of deaths in city A in 2012 that is 5000 divided by mid year population of city A that is 200,000. Then you will get 25 per thousand population. Crude death rate in city B is 40 per thousand population. What we understand by that? Crude death rate in city A is uh, only 25 per thousand population and the crude death rate in city B is 40 per thousand population. So we can understand by calculating rates we will, uh, we will understand this situation better than only numbers. Ratio is a measure of disease frequency. Okay, here one important thing is that numerator is not a component of the denominator. It expresses the relation in size between two random quantities. Doctor population ratio that is number of doctors per thousand population. Sex ratio number of females per thousand males. Okay, like that. So numerator is not a component of denominator. Now we will go through this example. Number of female students in batch A is 70, 
Number of male students in batch A is 35. Sex ratio, as already told, it is the number of females per thousand males, like that. The same we can apply here, number of females per thousand males. Sex ratio, we will calculate number of females divided by number of males multiplied by 1000. Sex ratio in this situation, 70 divided by 35 multiplied by 1000. Then it came 2000 females per thousand males. Okay, like that we can calculate total uh, doctor population ratio. That is total number of doctors in a geographic area divided by total population of the area. Teacher student ratio. Total number of teachers in a particular course divided by total number of students in the same course. Now we saw rates and ratios. Now we will go to what is proportion. Proportion indicates the relation in magnitude of a part to the whole. Numerator is always included in the denominator. Proportion is expressed in percentage. Proportion of female students in the class. Okay. If you look at the number of students in the class, number of female students divided by total number of students multiplied by 100. That will give the proportion of female student. In another term, in simple term, we can say percentage of female student. Percentage of male students means number of male students divided by total number of students in the class multiplied by 100. Okay. So, uh, you understood first use of biostatistics is uh, help to compare occurrence of health problem in different population. So, to compare we have to calculate rates, ratios and the proportions. Rates you understood by the example of uh, crude death rate. Ratio you understood how to calculate. Ratio means numerator is not a component of denominator. Proportion means numerator is the always a component of the denominator and we are telling percentage is expressed in percentage. Proportion is expressed in percentage. Okay. Now, the another use of biostatistics, it helps in planning, conducting, analyzing, interpreting and reporting the findings of medical research. Okay, first one, first how we can use biostatistics by critically appraising the available literature or evidence. Second one, selection of appropriate study design, which study design suits to find out the, uh, find out the association or find out the causal uh, causation selection of appropriate sampling technique, then calculation of sample size, preparation, validation of data collection tools like questionnaires, you know how to prepare a questionnaire and how to validate it. There are so many procedures to validate and make sure that questionnaire is valid in identifying a problem in this study population. Calculation of measures of central values like mean, median and mode. Calculation of measures of dispersion of data. Presentation of data as tables and diagrams. Okay. Analysis of data. Application of statistical tests to know if the association between different variables are statistically significant. Sometimes association between one variable and another variable is significant or not. Or if the difference in occurrence of a disease or health problem in different group is statistically significant. Next part about data and data collection we will discuss in next video.
थैंक यू